Hi, good afternoon. Thank you to be here. Uh, the first question will be, what should be done to achieve the 1.5 degrees Celsius climate goal? Yeah, well, it's a major, it's a major uh, sort of doing because reaching the point in which we are, which is about one degree already, has taken a lot of time and a lot of a lot of damaging activities from from all the countries of the planet ever since the uh, industrial revolution. So it's not easy, but I think that the main factor, in my opinion, for reaching that goal, but also reaching goals which are extremely important and which are making changes in what is being produced, what is being consumed, how governments should be operating depends on the action of every one of us. If we have information about how every single activity impacts climate change or impacts biodiversity loss, and we are convinced of that, and there is a lot of information on, on that area, I mean, in, uh, in the internet and many other ways, um, and we are convinced and we exercise that knowledge in our daily lives, we then will have the moral authority first to make uh, people in government, politicians, change their way of, of conducting countries. But second and most important is that we will be intelligent, informed consumers. And if we are in <laughs> informed consumers and we consume certa certain things and no others, industry, the, the will, will change immediately. They are not fools, they, they, they are there to make money and they know that if one doesn't buy or lots of people doesn't buy the product that they are generating because it is damaging to the environment, because it is harmful to a number of, to the air, to the water, to the oceans, or it is also socially un unacceptable, they will change. And that power is only in our hands, nobody else's. So I think that this is, in my opinion, the most important tool to really move towards a, a major change in the direction in which the planet is going. Nobody is going to come to convince politicians, etc., out of the blue. It has to be the population of the planet, the one which does it. Second, what is the role of forums like the World Sustainable Development Forum for catalyzing action for achieving the Sustainable Development Goals? Yeah, I, I think that this movement that was started by Dr. Pachauri um, will be really very much missed. The first talk I had with him was very much on precisely this area of education, of bringing in uh, convoking young people that would be really active and w well convinced on that. I think it's the pop mo movement, which I, I think is one which ought to be enhanced, stimulated, uh, and worked. So in every country there, there are young, young people working and really engaged in, in in the activities that the movement was meant to have. Well, now that you mentioned the young people, what should be the role of youth in achieving goals of climate ambition and climate action? Well, the, I think they are the major changers in society, particularly if they are well informed and well educated about the whole problem of, of 
environmental changes, both loss of biodiversity or climate change. Second, they are going to be the ones and their children and their grandchildren who are going to have the major impact of what's coming. So that is one, I would say, major element of convincing them to be really aware, active, and, and very active in these things. The third thing that they and us, we should know, is that no previous generations to our own generation have had so much information as we have now about how different activities, different choices of ways of life, etc., impact the environment. But no generation in the future will have the time that we have to act. And that, I think, is a very important lesson to engage them into, into action. How do you like Durango so far? How can? How do you like Durango so far? I don't get the last part. How do I like? Durango so far. Durango City so far. Ah, Durango. <laughs> Your part. Well, it's not a city in which I, or I've been a, a, a few times. Just last year I was here to, to sign an agreement with the government of Conavio, of, of Durango with Conavio, the, the organism in which I work. And it's a very nice area. It has extremely good forest resources, the, 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 the state. Because my area of work in Mexico was mostly the southern part of Mexico, which is the tropical, wet tropical forest, which is where I have, I started working, I've done more, most, most of my research in that area. But this is a, 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 a lovely place, I think, People are extremely hard workers in this part of the country. And uh, I think it was very fortunate that it actually chose this uh, city to, to hold the, the meeting. And finally, but not least, what can states like Durango do? What can they do? Oh. Well, do, do <laughs> the first thing is to, again, Mexico has a very large cultural diversity. Cultural diversity is a result of biological diversity, like India or like China or like parts of South, Southeast uh, Asia or, or the Andes in, of Mesoamerica. And that diversity requires understanding on the part of the governments that not, there is no single uh, remedy, there is not a single method to work with such a difference in, in, in cultures. It needs to have a more regional, localized approach to work with the, the cultures and the the, 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 the people in, in relation to their environment and really achieve a, a stage in which the environment is managed, used sustainably for the benefit of the population in a way in which is not being done. Now, all I would say in, not only in Mexico, in, in many other parts of the world, uh, with the exception of the very industrialized countries which unfortunately have become completely separated of nature and they, they, they don't have any contact with it. I, I think countries like Mexico, like China, like many other Latin American countries like India uh, have the huge benefit, the huge bonus of a large cultural diversity, but we have to give that diversity the possibilities to flourish and to develop adequately.